right, look what I got. I know you guys have probably been seeing these um, We The People <clears throat> holster mounts. You can put them really anywhere. Car, home, office, any object pretty much. You have an option to drill it in. See the holes there at the top. Or you can use some double-sided Velcro tape. And let me show you the Velcro tape. <clears throat> This is some 3M simple tape here. The instructions are to put together, tape it to the back, and then put it on with the object you want to install it on, and also some small screws. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and test it on, or test with just the adhesive 3M dual lock tape, as what they call it. And of course, guess what? I had to buy a We the People holster. So this is the one I picked up for my Smith & Wesson shield 2.0 and my shield plus pretty much the same gun just one as a plus double stacked magazine all right so i'm gonna have the links to these products in my description um the link for the mount will be directly to the we the people site i don't think amazon sells that um and then the holster i did find on amazon so i'll put the link in the description for that all right let's go to the car and install this real quick all right all right, hoping the camera doesn't die before I get to this, but so far, I don't know how we're going to do this. I've tried to use these other magnets before, like the magnet type holster, you know, the thing that you can magnetize your gun to. Those always seem to be in a way. This might be the same type of situation to where there's not a real perfect place to mount this, especially with the holster on it. It just pushes it further out from the mount, which can kind of get in the way. So hopefully we can see here. So if I mount it right here, then it's gonna be in the way of my leg. If I mount it lower, it might be better, but it's gonna be a lot harder to get to. I can see myself possibly breaking <laughs> the, uh, the holster itself here in that position. And then trying to, excuse my dirty car. Outside is clean, but the inside is a little dirty. <laughs> Um, but if you put it here, and it's kind of in a not ideal spot aiming at your foot. So if you ever pull this thing out and maybe actually tap that trigger, which is covered by the holster, but you can blow your foot off. So, yeah, I'm not a real big fan of these car mounts. Um, I was hoping this one would be different, you know, with it being able to be attached to the holster. But it's not looking like it. Like it's going to be in the way. So right now. This looks like it's going to be a real good um, good review. And I'm only reviewing this inside a vehicle. I mean, of course, this can be used anywhere. Home office. Wherever you need to have a mount and somewhere to connect your holster to with the gun, um, it will work there. But as far as a vehicle, I wouldn't recommend it. There's not very many of these vehicle um, mounts that I do recommend because of a lot of times the trigger guards or triggers are exposed. Um, the magnet is sometimes too strong where you can't pull the gun off without, sorry about that. My battery died. So back to what I was saying, um, these would be ideal for anywhere other than a car, in my opinion. Um, to me, having a gun kind of just sitting in the car, especially in like a cup holder, you don't want that. See down there, that's a bad place to put a gun. I've had to do that before a couple times, not ideal. It's better just to have it on you or inside some type of a bag or attack bag with a holster covering the trigger guard. That's very, very crucial with a loaded gun, especially in a vehicle. If you have kids, you don't want to have that bag in the back and then, you know, the kids get into the bag. So a mount like this, this is like I said by the We The People mount with the holster. So I'll show you how to detach this real quick. So you press this little button here and voila, the holster will come off. So this is how these work. Um, if you want to get one, I'll have the link in my description. Um, I'll have the link for this um, holster, which we're going to review right now. All right, welcome back. Yes, I have a different color shirt on. This is part three of this same review. All right, so this is the We The People mount. Let's give you a little closer look at this, how it functions. A little piece moves there. So we have a We The People 
holster. That's all you do. Simple as clip it in right there, hit the release, and then there you go. So that is the very simple function of how do you mount, or not mount, but hook up your holster to the mount. And like you, you saw in the other part of my um, review, it's hard to put in a car, so I, it really depends on how your preference, but I'm not a big person, or a big fan <laughs> of putting something in your car as far as to mount your gun and your holster. Uh, it seems like a good idea, but just to me, it just in my area, as you saw, it just kind of not very much space and kind of would get in the way. So it really, you know, depends on what you would like, but this could be mounted anywhere. Like I said, not just in your car. So I'm going to see if it'll fit on one of my other holsters here. <clears throat> which this is my Blackhawk holster, so let's see if it's universal at all, which most likely it's not. Um, well, this is going to be the first problem, because I have this little retention piece here in my Blackhawk. Yep, so this is in a way for this to mount to that. So I'm going to check another holster that I got. I'll be right back. All right, so I am back with my Blackhawk ARC, or yeah, appendix reverse carry holster. Um, so let's see if this one will fit. This might work. So remember, connection is specific to one of these type of belt clips. Let's see if it fits in there. Huh? <laughs> it fits. Now, unfortunately, it moves a little bit, so if you want to pull your gun up, it would kind of move, but it's not going to go anywhere. You can still break it off or still unclip it. So, it looks like it can be somewhat universal. This really depends on the belt clip on your holster. So, one of these Weeda People mounts, I recommend. Um, for your car, not so much, but for your home or office or wherever else you want to mount a holster to a mount and to keep it secure to keep your trigger definitely covered because most of those mounts that you see these days are just magnets where you just put the gun on it or it might have a little like a trigger tray where the gun sits down but to me it still is not as good as having one of these type of mounts plus when you have a magnet mount you sometimes have to pull that gun off and who knows what can happen so I will give this a good review so definitely if you want something to hook up your holster to um, definitely buy one of these We The People mounts. Um, I'll have the link for this product in my description. Um, and then I'll have a link for the We The People holsters in my description also. Um, I really need to review this holster. It's pretty much just like any other holster that I've reviewed. Um, this actually is very similar to my DeSantis as far as a retention. So the uh, body retention is actually really good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, I'll be right back. All right, as you see, the retention is actually really good. So the firearm is right here. And I'm wearing some sweatpants type joggers and I'm using my actual gun utility tactical belt. So as you can see, it has really good retention. Not really an imprint. Kind of see it there. This is where you, of course, if you have the gun more, you're a two or you're one. We'll, of course, keep that grip closer to your body, but other than that, not bad, so. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that quick review, kind of quick, um, of the We The People mount and the We The People holster. Like I said, I have to go over too much on the holster. It's pretty simple, pretty basic Kydex design, trigger guard, retention screw. You can adjust the cant angle and height a little bit. Um, it's got a little bit of a cutout for an optic, I believe. Let's see. Uh, maybe if the optic was here, but not really so. But definitely a good holster to have. So, like every one of my videos, I want you to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell notification at the top, and also come back next time. Stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next video.